So weeknights are so busy, right? And it can be such a hassle to try to figure out what the heck you're going to make for dinner. I have a really, really easy approach where you cook once or shop once and eat all week long. And I'm going to show you how to do that so you don't feel bored and you don't feel like you're eating leftovers and the same thing every single night. So let's start out with some basic chicken. You can grill it yourself, you can poach it, you can pick up rotisserie chickens at the supermarket, just remove the skin and eat the breast for the healthiest part. Or honestly guys, hit the prepared food case and just pick up some grilled chicken if you want to make your life easier. So you enjoy that the first night, that's Sunday night. Now I'm going to show you how to make a really cool fun dinner in such a fast way for yourself on Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night. So Monday night, let's get started. When you grab your chicken, why not also grab a package of cut up peppers and onions? I mean, there's no need for you to be sitting around cutting up veggies when you get home from work. Make it easier for yourself. We're gonna make a really awesome five minute stir fry that's so much better for you than ordering takeout or Chinese. All you need to do is stir fry your peppers and onions in some cooking spray in a nonstick pan. Take your chicken and add it sliced up to the veggies. Hit it with your favorite stir fry sauce. And there you have it. You can enjoy that on top of rice or cauliflower rice if you're trying to really keep things light. I like to garnish it with some chopped scallions. Scallions keep a really long time in their fridge, so they're an awesome one to have around. And then a little bit of sesame seed just for color and for crunch to make it look even prettier. So Monday night, you've got like a 10 minute stir fry. So fast, faster than getting takeout. Tuesday night, it's Taco Tuesday. So I'm gonna show you how to take your chicken and turn it into an awesome taco like this in no time flat. You basically shred it with two forks or chop it up really fine. And then what we're gonna do is mix in some flavorful ingredients. So your shortcut here. I like to use just your favorite jarred salsa. You can use red salsa, hot, green salsa, whatever kind you like. Then for a little bit of an extra kick and more flair and flavor, one of my favorite spices is cumin. It adds like that earthiness that just tastes like Mexican food. You're gonna add some of that. I like beans in my tacos personally, and if you do too, keep black beans on hand and just rinse and drain them. Add them to your mix, and then you'll just heat this up either in the microwave or on the stove top, whatever's easier for you, and serve it in corn tortillas, also always awesome to have on hand. And if you like, here I topped it with some low-fat shredded Mexican four cheese. You don't have to if you're not into the cheese. This is another great one to pick up, uh, shredded cabbage or coleslaw mix, because by the way, you could have added that if you wanted to your stir fry on Monday night, and it just adds color and crunch to your tacos on Taco Tuesday. And then finally, to garnish it, this is one of my favorite tips. Skip the sour cream and just go for non-fat Greek yogurt. It's that much lighter and it gives you that nice, yummy, creamy finish, and then hit it with some hot sauce and you're good to go. So those are like 10 minute tacos for Taco Tuesday. Now finally, it's Wednesday night, right? Midweek slump, you're like, oh gosh, what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? Well, you still have some chicken left and here's what we're gonna do with it. Cube up your chicken like this and we're gonna make a really speedy chicken and veggie minestrone soup. All you need to do is mix your chicken with some chicken broth that you have in the pantry, some canned diced tomatoes that you have on hand. If you like, I love cannellini beans. You could use chickpeas here too. Just make sure to rinse and drain them first for the best flavor. And then I like to add some green and something bright, some extra veggies. So you could use fresh green beans, but frozen are fine here too. You could also add some peas. And this is a great meal for one. You can just microwave it and dinner's ready. Or if you're making it for a family, do it on the stove top in a large saucepan and you're good to go. So again, you guys, cook once or shop once and eat all week. We started here with some chicken and I showed you how to make a stir fry, taco Tuesday, and soup in no time flat.